Damn it. Daddy. Yes, baby. I love you. I love you too. Is there something you need? No. Uh, Daddy's pretty busy. Can you um, go play? Get the fuck out of here! That was when my innocence was lost. After that, I moved in with my mom and stepfather. Everything was fine at first, but when I turned 12, things started to change. You need to get this room clean, it's a fucking mess. Why are you not listening to your mother? Because I can do whatever I want. Oh. You think you're a grown-ass woman, huh? Well, then I'm gonna treat you like one. I wish my dad were here. He'd kick your ass. Your dad's exactly where he needs to be. He's dead. Fuck him. Get this room clean and don't make me say it again. That was about the time the abuse started happening, and it got worse and worse. There were a lot of days like that, and sometimes I wasn't even doing anything wrong. Everything was going all right for quite a while, at least three months, but then things started to take a turn. Before I get into this, can I have a drink? Sure, here you go. Please continue. This is where the sexual abuse starts. You're looking beautiful tonight. Thank you. Why are you being so nice to her? Why shouldn't I be? You're up to something. Why do you have to be up to something? Shut the fuck up and go to bed. a day job and it started happening more. This went on for about a year and then my mother passed away. Then I moved in with my grandparents. I stayed there till I was about 18. It was great. No abuse, no nothing. It was wonderful. I blocked out everything that had happened to me. Then when I turned 18, I moved out and got a job. One day I was walking through the park and he was there. It was kind of like he knew I was there. As the days went on, I noticed him more and more at the same park. I drive over to this park usually after work. So one day, I decided to hold back and watch him. And he was there like he was searching for me. That was when I walked up behind him and hit him in the head. What? What's going on? Do you remember me? Of course you do, that's why you were stalking me, right? I remember you and everything you did to me as a child. When I saw you at the park the other day, I just sat thinking about everything you did to me, and now I'm going to make sure it doesn't happen to anyone else. And now I've got a little something for you. What are you going to do to me? Oh, put that thing away. Oh, oh God, Jesus, please don't. No, don't do this to me. Just ease up. Everything's going to be okay. That is what I did, and now you know why. I called you right after to turn myself in. 
We looked through his apartments, and it seemed like he has been following you. There's plans thrown everywhere. You're even lucky to be alive, because if he had found you, you would have been dead.